What's happening, people? I'm Mr. Also known as Juan. And we're going to play some more Arms and Steals. But lo and behold, this is not your typical Arms and Steals deck. This is White, Green, Heliot, Spike Feeder, Arms and Steals combo stuff. Uh, yeah, I saw this deck online. Uh, it won 5 years in a recent week. And I wanted to try it, you know, see if it's. You know, maybe to probably when, when uh, be watching on Sunday, so probably the day after you watch this, uh, Lurus, it's not banned, but it's just made unplayable, or it just becomes less powerful. And this could, this could be a version that was sort of popular before the Ozolith and Lurus were burned, were banned, were printed, that uh, maybe we could try. Um, yeah, this list, I'll go over it pretty quickly. Um, we can. If you have questions, you can ask it, and just basically the idea is if you're playing a white green mana base with fetches and two mana, it counters you, that I find really interesting. And then you play some mana acceleration combined with hard skills. Um, basically, hard skills combines really well with with, with, with spike feeder and heal it, which you know, you don't know the combo. Spike feeder and just like the battlefield with two, uh, one one counters in it, and then you remove a counter from spike feeder, you gain two life. Then heal it every time that somebody, like you gain life, you can put a 1 1 counter on a creature you control. So basically, you go back and forth, gain into life, you put a counter, you gain into life. But normally, what happened with this combo before, and I have tried this before, is that you gain infinite life, but your opponent may have all ways to win the game, or maybe your opponent may not concede, and even though you have 400 life, they will try to leg you, they will try to. Yeah, even they will try to even go through and make. Try to be, uh, kill you with even if you have 400 life because it, it you know, it, 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 it you have a limited amount of time to, to get the, the life, right? So, um, what this deck does basically is using hard skills. Every time you go through this cycle, you get an extra combo. So, you eventually get an infinitely big creature in the battlefield. So I would think that maybe it would be better to have four words of paradise because they fly and then they can become the finishers. But, but I guess it can, can be whatever, whatever. novels, everything will become a, a, an infinity to the future thanks to Hannah's skills, Hilliard and Spike Hilliard. So that's like kind of a 3 card combo, 2, 3 card combo. You know, you can gain infinity life, try to wait until you find Hannah's skills and make a creature infinity to the league and then back. This combo also works with Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista, uh, and if it, if it has 2 counters in it, then Hilliard can give it a life steal, like a lifeline. And then basically every time you ping the opponent, you gain one life, and then you put counter dragon on the list, and you repeat until you basically kill the opponent, right? So that's the other combo. All of this is put kind of together with uh, an offensive killing three spirits. So this is kind of like a creature that is also sort of hard and skill. So when a creature enters the battlefield, you put an extra counter on the creature that has on a creature that has the less toughness, least toughness out of all the creatures you have. Scanning moves. I mean, it's probably pretty good that this is a medigame with everybody using the graveyard. Of course, it gets extra counters. Two Thalia's Guardians of Thurman for some reason. I don't know. They, I guess it's a cool card, cool looking, amazing art, so why not put it in there? The deck had initially uh, Eladan is called, but I don't really love the card in the show. Um, I was trying it, and it feels like Eladan is called, it basically is not a creature, so it doesn't really work well with Collected Company. You want to have as many creatures of 3 and zero rights in, in your collected company deck. And a lot of times calls seem to be slightly redundant and it didn't seem to feed the rest of the deck. So in the end, you have four collected company, two of them is called, four hundred skills. You can actually make it with collected company because also you cannot really use here the walking policies, right? So it was a bit iffy. So I decided to change them for finalism and a card that I think has a lot of potential. And we just maybe the companions get a band or they get a. The act somehow finalizes and will kind of be the new thing. It's really, really, I feel it's really powerful and really not seen much of it, but trust me, you will. It's basically this can tutor up any of the, of the combo pieces and also the creature in zone. Plus, you can, for example, you can collect a combo at the end of your opponent's turn. Let's say you find a healer and you find finalizes and you have something else. Then the next turn you can pay four mana and get yourself the spike field and basically win the game in the spot. Other things, things that other cards is explain are a champion for the red-black matchup, I'm guessing. This is one of the strongest cards against them, of course. 
and Kitchen, Kitchen Things, Things against the, the also against the same kind of matches, but also Kitchen Things. If you have healed it, it cannot really die unless you somebody passes it, because when Kitchen Thing dies, it comes back with a minus one minus one counter in it. Then heal the triggers, puts a plus one plus one counter on Kitchen Things, and you keep going. Normally, some people use even um, this uh, here or Carrion Feeder to kind of. Uh, kind of like eat the kitchen things and grow the helio but in this case we're leaning a bit more in the walking ballista combo so we have more walking ballistas no ranger captain of yours which is interesting but i guess you have to cut things some somehow let's see how the list performs sideboard kind of a bit of everything you know we have spell guide for some matchups that it could be good graphics cage for the neo form matchups or guy lantern for maybe the lurus matchups pithing needle i just added because i think it's it's good in a decent amount of matchups and pretty cheap. Pads, bales, chokes, a little bit of everything really. And Alurus, and you will wonder why do you have Alurus here? Well, I'm not never gonna use this as a companion, but this is an like, excellent grindy card that could come in handy in, in some matchups. I just like to try it, maybe it's not a great and one night of uh, autumn just you know as a, an additional type for finalism to find. Just a good card in general. I'm excited to, to try the deck. I have not been had so much luck with the original normal high end skills, but this it's, uh, it's kind of fresh. It's, uh, it's, I like it, you know, it has some combo potential, which I think is good right now because either people are trying to combo you and kill you with a combo or they're trying to grind you out, right? So you having kind of a grindy deck that can also combo can maybe align well with what other people are doing. I played against Strong before in a trial match I made and they just basically, I just basically killed them on turn four with Ballista. They just had like some, I think they got the, like a wound calling jump down and did the MRR all, right? So, uh, excited to try this. Let's let's give it a try. Let's play a leak. Um, yeah. I was looking at the leaks result, and no other hardened scale deck made a five all. Just kind of saddening. I mean, I guess a lot of people. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. It could just be the people who are, have not been playing it, and I have not been five alling myself. So, yeah. But yeah. The, felt like that we have had tough matchups recently with, with scales like we were not like we didn't you know the matches we, we, we had a good draw we generally beat the good draws of our opponent it felt like our good draws were on par with the good draws of our opponents but sometimes the great draws were better than our great draws and the average draws were also better than our average draws right so it was a bit eh. but we don't present any companions so i'm guessing our opponents are all scared all of a sudden we have two lands um this is an interesting hand. This actually, this hand can kill rather quickly. Um, Wizard of Heath can look for a Temple Garden. Then we can play the Diet Arbor next turn. Diet Arbor is not the card you want to draw, of course, but... Again, Zalurus, whatever deck, we have already Champion. We can play something. If we draw another line, we can play Heliot turn 2. And then Aurea Champion and an Offensive turn 3 or something like that. I think yeah, this hand is, is sort of fine. Let's see what we're playing. Oh, we play against Neophon, Neophon, and then it doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna look for a Temple Garden. I don't love, like, shocking myself like this, but... They're probably not, um... Just, like, the reason I want to shock myself like this, I could also get the Unoffensive turn, turn 2. Offensive basically making... being a proto hunt skills, that's also a creature. Okay, that's humans. And it is, most likely. This art is really strange. Mm -hmm. So now we could... Mm, kitchen things. Okay, we cannot really play it. Um, if it's humans... If it's humans, we could actually get an Offensa down. And next turn we can get Ballista, maybe even four. And Ballista will be... Uh, if we get it for one, we can get an extra counter on it and then shoot something down. And then the next turn we can get the Heliot. That could be an idea. So I'll do the Anafenza trick. Also this, you know, when creatures enter, you can live, but this is not so relevant right now. So I'm gonna play Anafenza. I'm learning the deck. I mean, I'm probably gonna be rambling a bit because I don't know. Oh yeah, of course, when this enters. So we can choose which one we wanna give it to and I'm gonna give it to the Dryad Arbor, why not? I did not even think about this, the Dryad Arbor will trigger Anafenza. <laughs> Super sweet, actually. Sweet interaction. So you can see when you have healed in play, which we'll probably play next turn. 
So it's an island, interesting. Because if we get to four mana and we play both uh, play Walking Ballista, we can give it lifelink. So we have four mana and Walking ba and Heliot. And with an offensive in play, we can get play Walking Ballista for X equals one. If it comes a 2-2, two -two, then we give it lifelink and basically we have a kill right there. So pretty, quite strong uh, combination, the Valkyrie Ballista with Anafenza. Sort of like having hard and skills. But, you know, Anafenza is also a creature, so it can attack, it can nah, it can also get counters on its own, so... Rather nice. So they're playing blue, red... Okay, that's a Mantis Rider, almost for sure. There you go. You know, 3 damage. That's not a lot. That's something going on back, back there. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, I get only 4, I guess, from the Exalted Trigger. So we draw Hunt Scales. Mm. We could play Hunt Scales. We could bolster this. Eh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. We could also play Heliot. And next turn, next turn we can actually get the. Hmm. We can get the ballista down and kill them if they don't do anything. I think that's probably the best line. Uh, if I attack, this plus plus one plus one. Will they trade this? I don't think so. Right. So. Hmm. I'm gonna play Heliot. I don't think there's a way they kill us next turn. Of course, this doesn't trigger it. Too bad we didn't draw land. Uh, we could attack, but I like to go for the kill next turn if we draw land. And if we don't draw land, we can go for the 100 skills plus ballista play, which actually could have been a play this. this Maybe a decent play. Mm -hmm. Also, kitchen things with healer, as I said, doesn't die, so it's actually a quite, quite strong combo. Also works really well with Thin Artisan, you know, you can you basically have Thin Artisan food the whole for the whole game. But yeah, this kind of threatens like uh, Lethal next turn. We are able to get a land, so I don't think they have they don't have a violin, so they can't really interact with us like I haven't played against humans in a long time. Like a long time. Okay, Talia. Not the biggest deal. We also play Dali ourselves, so I mean Thalia, I guess. Blue, blue. Interesting. Blue, white. Uh, Meddling match, I guess. I guess I'll name Spike Feeder. Maybe I name uh, Hardness Skills. Who knows? I mean, Hardness Skills are uh, Walking Ballista. Okay. Spike Feeder. So we go down to. It's funny because if we play the kitchen things, this becomes a feature. It's kind of nice. Okay, that's a land, and that should be it. So that's how the combo works. So we play walking ballista for x equals one. Then this is a creature with least toughness that we have. So, yeah. Then we give it lifeline. And that's a kill. Save targets. Ah, turn for kill. And then because it has lifeline, we gain. Yeah, so. And we say over yield. And yeah, that's a combo basically. So we, we basically need to do this 18 times. And the good thing is it's an easy combo to go through because you can save targets and always yield on everything. So basically you're not wasting any time. And we still have 21 minutes left. So I don't think our opponent is, is just trying to understand it, I guess. Yeah, there you go. We could also shoot down the whole team, you know, like, yeah, we basically won at this point. Cool. Okay, so in this matchup, probably Talia is not the best. Probably our champion is not the best. Cards that could be good. 
Hmm. Probably back to exile. Alright, this can destroy up to Edmund, you can get some life. Um, I don't like any of the other cards, maybe against humans. I guess, yeah, we could have Hushbringers on the sideboard. I think in the original it's had Tokaldi on our board. I think Hushbringers is even better. And. Maybe Lurus is good. Like, yeah, Lurus is only good for, like, grindy games. Music is going on in the background. I'll just bring it in. Yeah, I'm not loving it, but yeah, whatever. We lower our curve a bit by putting the Path to Exiles instead of the, the Thalias and the Aria of Champions. So we can actually increase it a bit with playing the, the Lurus. Um, yeah. I don't know about the rest. Night of Autumn. I guess you get the Strolly bio, but that's about it. Probably like this. This combination. Are you champion, man? What a card! Probably one of the best cards. Sideboard cards, or even in our case, main deck cards in the game. Also, because it's, it's nice that card that you can play in the. Oh my god! This hand has the infinite life combo. It has a acceleration. So that's kind of nice. We can play Heliot turn two. Humans. Novel. Come on. Beautiful afternoon today in Copenhagen. It was kind of cold for a while, but now it's beautiful again. And a fence again. Um, they could reflector mage this. And then it actually would not matter. If, I'm just gonna conserve my life. Total. I was thinking of, of uh, finding a temple garden for the with the Verda Catacombs and then cast an Offensive, but if the only interaction they could have is this member, then, then we cannot cast it the end offense anyway, so... Or they could have, like, Reflector Mage, which also doesn't matter. I'm most likely gonna play the Heliot. I also like that this deck can kind of pretty easily turn on Heliot. I'm, I'm missing the Ranger Captain of Eve. I think that card is really strong. Blue... That's probably Reflector Mage, in fact. Yeah, I mean, it's annoying, but it's not the fastest start. Yeah, the only thing is, of course, gonna play the novel next turn. It's a third spike here, Jesus. It's a lot. Uh, yeah, we cannot really play the Dana Fenza because we don't have a white source. So, we pass. One thing I changed from the deck from the original list is that I added the. Uh, I remove two horizon canopies are fine, but this is a maybe too much damage. I change it for uh, one that's a red sticker and do one clip. One, I remove two canopies and I have one one fetch land and one razor red sticker. Yeah, this game we could be in trouble actually. That's meddling mage. Sure, I just yield until the next time. Classic human start. Novel into reflector into meddling mage. They can name novel, but I guess they can name Heliot as well. They can name spike feeder. If the next spike feeder, we are in big trouble. With three spike feeders in hand. Uh, he lives on ground. That's pretty bad for us. But we can always play with Collected Company. Wow. That's uh, quite the start they had. That is quite the start. What do you guys think? Yes, can I block you? Quite the start. Of course, if you have been on the play, the game completely changes, but that's your know, magic for you. Sometimes. Hmm. Scavenging was also not the greatest card in this matchup. It's not looking great, it's not looking great. Uh, we can play Scavenging Moose, doesn't do anything. We can play the Noble again. Okay, no, uh, yeah, I'm not drawing lands, has been pretty rough also. Hmm. So next turn they attack for one, three, six, seven. Okay, so we're not dead dead next turn. Let's give ourselves one more turn. Uh, yeah. Maybe this kind of thing is good in like long games, but yeah, this seems to not be the case. Yeah. 
Let's see. I mean, he didn't even have this member. Yeah, it's probably his member, right? Is he playing? Yeah. Uh, well, that was quite a hand. Now the blue, white. Okay, they can copy the Thalia's lieutenant. Yeah. This will be 4, 8, 11, 13. I'm just gonna see. It. There's nothing I can do. They will beat me down. Oops. My chair. It's <laughs> broken. Broken. Okay, I'll not put a lot of weight on it. Okay. Um, definitely not great, but what can we do? I think I don't dislike the Knight of Autumn. Also, maybe the Aria champions are decent. Black and red. They don't really play a lot of black or red. Just because I think the scavenging wishes are not really that worth it. Maybe one Knight of Autumn can actually be better. Just by getting for life or... Who knows. Mm. Let's see, I think I, I, don't dislike, I don't dislike my chances against this deck. Honestly, it's just like they had a pretty good start and we had a fairly slow start and... It happens. Um, birds, we have Path, we have Ballista for turn two. We have three lands, we have Path, Spike Feeder. I guess this hand is fine. Mm. This one I'm going to come sprawling to find a Temple Garden. The Mulligan. So they're not playing Giganta, so that means that they have already champion on the sideboard. Yeah, probably her human Giganta is like the least useful. The fact that it's free is kind of troubling. I think that will disappear with this new update. They must do something where it doesn't make sense to have like free companions. Companions just play because they have. You play, the, for example, a colorless deck. And then. That doesn't matter. So, with this hand, I have two options as I see it. We can play. Turn to Spike Feeder, turn to Walking Ballista. This is the kind of deck that was really good when the once upon a time was like legal. Mm. Mm -hmm. Humans again. Why? Okay, that's a champion. Not the most scariest card. We can always path it in response. It's a Temple Garden. Interesting. I mean, we can play the Spike Feeder and then play the Ballista 4x equals 2 next turn. Hmm. Spike Feeder wins us, wins us life later. Yeah, probably save the path to Exile for something more interesting. I didn't even have to play the Temple Garden, I don't know why I did that. Oops. Thinking like, yeah, I want to get the Temple Garden down. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Quite a different experience not playing with a companion. I'm realizing. You know? That's Reflector Mage naming. I saw Melee Mage naming it. Healer. But we don't have it. Jokes on you, open. Oh, they attack. I don't even offer it. I just trade. I mean... I mean, I think I just trade, to be honest. This guy, I mean, I could draw Heliot. I actually could draw Heliot. Yeah, I could draw Heliot, Path, the Manly Mage, and then win the game. So I'm not gonna trade. Yeah, I mean, two damage is not the end of the world. Didn't draw either. We drew all the lands, we didn't draw all the games. Um, guess it can attack. So next turn I can activate Gavoni. No, Gavoni requires five mana. And I will have five mana actually next turn. So I can activate it, that's nice. Mm, I will attack with the Spike Feeder. Which is was a novel. Hmm. Don't think they block right with the Melee Maze, that would be strange. 
No, they don't. Um, I'm gonna look for a forest. Play walking ballista. You know, if we draw Heliot next turn, we have both their kill. Right? Heliot? No, we, we're missing one line for the kill. I oh, know, we are actually gonna get the kill, I think. Mm. No, we're not. Let's see. You do. Yeah, I need to read by. Mm. Slower, yes. You need to pay four and don't get any time. Cut on any time. Shit, yeah. We can do it next turn. Don't have any counters. Just shooting people down. But I think Spike Feeder represents four more life, basically. So it's another champion of the parish. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot it down before this gets out of control, right? Basically, I kill it now. I could do it later, but honestly. Maybe they did it on purpose. I think I think I could share wait that for them to play another human. That's three and later, that's kinda funny. They kind of play a lie they have it. Do they? No, I guess they actually can. Yeah. And that's my wish. Is the name... Pathway, I guess? This guy, but it's not so good. Because... Okay, the new healer with both. <laughs> they don't really, but uh, this is kind of bad play, I think, because we can shoot them with 4-1. Of course, we don't know, but... Take 4, not the game, but yeah, whatever. Let's get some things. Let's not change anything. Can play the kitchen things. And hold on path. Yeah, we could. Okay, okay, that's the plan, I think. We're gonna play the kitchen things, play the government township, uh, block the, with the kitchen things, the champion of the parish, path, for example, the metal mage, and then next one, government township, and kill the other one. Yeah, basically, this is where we have like an infinite block, so. And I think, since I'm not gonna block with the spike field, I'm just gonna die with it again. Why not? I don't need a block, honestly. No. So, no, wait. I'm gonna play this. Play the kitchen things. Yeah, into life. We have powered up. Yeah, that's nice. So, next time we can get on the township. You can even look for the diet and give it a plus one plus one. Uh, Alright, blue, white, white, what? Interesting. Yeah, let's do it then. Okay, that's very big. This guy's pretty very big too. We block, proceeds, bring into life. Yes. Grab the use cage. I don't think we put the, the, the drive then, I guess. Um, doesn't really matter. I guess it matters for the kitchen. I think they should play pre combat. Yeah. Maybe then we pack this. Still not. Mm. I guess we can block with something else. Okay, yeah, whatever. Just let resolve. We can either pack this or pack this. Just kind of like packing the memory mage. 
Phoenix is also becoming big. Alright, final line, we have one card left in hand, so... Yeah, I got a few escapes. Of course, uh, I think Knight of Autumn would be a fantastic drawing fight. Fina is then. Hmm. I mean, this card doesn't really do anything right now. One, two, three. So this needs five mana. Not much we can do. Hmm. Against this. Um. Features cards, engravers and libraries can enter the battlefield, players can cast spells from engravers and libraries, yeah, okay, so... Hmm... Just going to activate this, I think. Yep. Hmm... This one now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably going to attack. Can I erase this? Really not. Do some things. Land. Mm. I'm guessing they're gonna pop it immediately. The reason I cut the canopies also, I think, is my uh, this deck kind of uses. Okay, that's a uh, Mantis Rider. It's kind of strong. Kill is in response. Hmm. Stand damage, actually. You know, I think I'm just gonna look for Dryad and block here. With the Dryad. <gasps> of course! Damn it, it never came this interaction before. Crafting a sketch doesn't allow Dryad. Oh. We are bad players. Um, Cage and potent. Okay, we got healing. We won. <laughs> so, how this works is we play Heliot. We give this life link. Pain two. Yeah. Okay, that was a good top deck. Needless to say. So yeah, basically the way it works, we give uh, Walking Ballista lifelink, then we remove a counter from Spike Feeder, that gains two life. Then that we can put a counter in onto Walking Ballista and we just win. So cool. That was rough. This Yardiga's cage was actually better than I thought. So I think we're gonna keep the we're gonna bring in quite a lot of the Knight of Autumn. Maybe looking at it, we need a bit more hate against uh, Actually, that's why I actually cut one of the Gravity Escapes in our own deck because it's actually quite strong against us. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you on match two, which is starting uh, right now. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> deck felt okay. Deck felt okay. We were playing against humans. But I mean, they had some. This last game, they had the double meddling mage, and you know, of course, we had the path. And I think, yeah, seeing it now from the results perspective, it was a good idea to pass the. Path the the med, the meddling mage. Yeah. 
And it was also a decent idea to... Yeah, it was a decent idea to not block at all. And then we, we could also always block turn out, the turns after. So we out of the play. We are playing against Christian Magray. Magray. I don't know, something like that. But we have Healer, we have Kitchen Things, we have Novel. I mean, this hand is pretty good. This hand is honestly pretty good. Probably if I can do it, I will almost always try to get the Healer down first. Because then it kind of is incremental. All the other cards that win life again get wins life. Because yeah, that makes us gain life. Then <laughs> you don't win life, you gain life. All the cards that gain life, then it's oh it looks like a discard spell. Are we going against a Lurus deck? Yes. Oh it's a fatal push, maybe. Thoughts. I'm guessing. 100 percent they take the, the Heliot. Hmm. It happens. We have we can play all your champion plus novel next turn, which is super strong. Our champion has protection against their stuff. We can play Heliot. I think the they should take if they don't take Heliot of course, but they will take Heliot. I mean I would be very surprised if they don't. Heliot is probably the best card. That's the thing, you know, this deck is hard, it's like hard skills that doesn't need hard skills, but if you have hard skills, it's like hard skills plus plus, you know? So, because basically every time you gain life, then you get two counters onto things, and it gets out of control pretty quickly. So, I mean, the thoughts is tank. Maybe this was life this time, and I'm not playing against this deck. <laughs> like that guy the other day who said, I'm played against hard skills too many times this week. Enjoy the wind. So, they take the, they take the Heliot. Take the damage as well. Um, no bubbles, which is interesting. No, we did not draw the. Uh, so I'm gonna play the Temple Garden, get the Oric Champion down, and I don't want to reveal that I just do a land, so I'm not gonna play this wind set. Wind sweat hit. Takes a bit of damage, but that's okay. We were gonna play white, white, play Oric Champion. It has protection with uh, against almost everything they play. Which is kind of nice, and then novel, and we 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 gain one life. I mean, it's not like game breaking, but hey, and always yes. I don't think I will always not gain a life. Sure, you go. Um, of course, here you can tell the difference between not having a companion. If I had a companion here that I could play, I would be much more confident in our chances. Mm hmm. But still, yeah, this hand was great if we got to resolve the... Yeah, it's Tarmogoyf. It's one of the few cards that actually we're not protection against. But we can our life again. So that's nice. So here we go. Split the company. Oh, Spike Feeder. Not a bad draw. Mm, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. So not the dream. I'm going to play the kitchen things, I think. Mm. Into live, in three live, in fact. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I get to live. Play the Windsor's head. Probably get a. That never come up to me in this Gravigas cage. Um, I mean, the thing is, we can raise a tower. Like, we can't really raise a tower. Collect the common is probably one of our best draws against their deck. Mm. We can get Lurus down, but there's nothing to return. Mm. You can see how brutal healer could have been in this, in this, with this hand. Like every time we play a creature, we gain a life and we put a counter. Kitchen things basically kind of die. I mean. <laughs> You spell bomb, we don't really care about that. That's a good thing of playing a deck that doesn't play on the normal axis that other decks are playing. Oh, we are playing against Abzan, in fact. I don't think they have, I don't think they have that, but maybe they do. No, they don't. 
I'm not sure if I want to play a Dryad, get a Dryad down, or I want to get the, the Temple Garden. I think a Dryad is good, right? We can lie also. Maybe we could have saved it. If we go here, we can trigger with that. Scavenging Ooze. It's an interesting card. One, two, three, four. We can actually play both Ooze and... So I'm gonna play the Ooze and see if they exile in response. I don't think they... Uh, yeah, probably they will. They want, us, they want to exile in response, right? So... I'll just play the Ooze. Get some life. So actually, with the Ooze, we can get rid of... These and make this very small. Because they only have, they only have creature enchantment, I guess. Yeah, so I'm gonna play the spike feeder. Also, keep it in my hand. Uh, makes it so we don't. I'm pretty sure they want any heal spell bomb, so I'm just gonna let them. If they want any heal spell bomb now, I'm gonna eat it in response. They didn't, right? So it kind of sucks for them. And then in the end phase, I will try to eat my. On Heliod, I'll eat the Thoughtseize. Yeah, if we eat the Heliod, actually, actually should I eat it right away and start attacking with the kitchen things? That would have been good. Hmm. Also, the heal spell bomb can deal with the kitchen things. So this needs 3 mana to activate. And it's a 2 3 with Lightning. Okay. Marsh Flats. Sure. Another time away? No. Okay, mm. so I'll leave the Heliot. Nice, it became much smaller. Hmm, I don't think I'll still do with my mana, so. I don't thought this, so why not? And I'll save the land, why not? <clears throat> Actually, we play healer pizza creature, so it triggers an offensive. Hmm. Nice. Walking ballista. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna play it. So if I actually if I attack with kitchen things, it's a five four. Let's go. Let's attack with kitchen things. If you want to use removal on the kitchen things, so be it. Of course, they can add an instant, but still we trade, so. Should have done it earlier, by the way. Should I eat in the Heliot? It goes in, it goes in. Yeah, sure. Go down to 11. I think this is also something to do next turn. Yeah, mana. Yeah, life. With 25 chroma, that's nice. It's like Xyla Graveyard, maybe? But this is the last, the only creature there is in the graveyard, it's there, so. They only have them, which is interesting. The Exile Iron Graveyard, that's fine. So this actually shrinks, which is kind of funny. Oh, well, they actually goes up because they have a. Sure, uh, we're not really using our graveyard, so that's fine with us. I guess they can s get uh, Lurus down now, but I can shoot it down, which is sort of okay. Also shoot it down next turn. 
Can even get the spike feeder down. Yeah, at this point, if we do a Helio, it's GG. Yeah, it's still good. I mean, we're playing against Zapzan, I'm guessing they have Living Souls as the only white stuff card. I don't know if they play Gavi as Cage, because Gavi as Cage really stops Lurus. Maybe they play Lurus as many kills by one, but... I'm gonna take it, it's only 3 damage, damage you know, like, who cares. I'm a triple log it. So you can play Lurus, I guess. I'm gonna... Is that another time I wait? Leaving Ive. Okay, we have some interaction. Go ahead, take on. That's a great go. So, I'm gonna do the same as before. I'm gonna target the kitchen things. Oh, healed. Then we're gonna collect the company at the end of the turn. Interesting, what is that? Guys, guys, just want to sacrifice the creature, create a 1 1 black and spirit token with flying. Sure. I think it's gonna sacrifice to the drive. We can kill it. And he came alive. Ah, the okay, nice be beer. Sure. I don't think that out right now. So many collected company will be the. If we hit the healer, it's the death. Let's just go up here. Got it done. Yeah, we just have the spike here, so... There's no need to... Yeah, yeah I can, can do it next time. time. They own... They, even if they die with both time orders, I'm not too very super scared. There's another attack one. Probably just do it, right? There's two cards in hand. They have lures. They can get back. And he heals spell bomb. I saw a video that kind of doesn't go in their favor so much. I'm gonna make the Solar Lander. I think I should have two Solar Landers. That card is pretty good. Opponent! What are you up to? The thing is that we can cast a collective combat in any time, right? So anytime we are retished. So we can attack for. 10, but if they attack for 10, they're dead, basically. For sure. I'm not so sure. Yeah, they are a champion, man. Make it work. So how many life has this guy go? This cleric. Yes. I'm taking it like a bro. You know, when in doubt, take it. No, this. Don't. Um, I guess they're, they're gonna, gonna go for lures and heal spell bomb to green white. Lingering souls, and I guess they're gonna flash it back. We can do live as well. Of course. Sure. Again, two more life. Here we'll do the collected company business. Let's see what we find. <gasps> we <f> we whiffed! <laughs> we whiffed pretty bad. Okay, I guess we put the scavenging was down. Damn it, that was not the dream. The dream draw. But we can start eating things and that, that makes these guys much smaller. Second walking ballista. No. White spirit, exactly. So, 
we don't have to play King against them. Hmm. Well, we're probably five, six cards closer to to our yeah. So we exalt six five cards closer to to heal it. That's the blood one. It's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on the mana and just take it a bit slow. Yeah, Lurus cannot really do anything. We can exile the only creature that is and gain 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 a life, put a counter here, reduce this guy's power. We can exile and heal spell bomb, reduce it again. So that's an outland. Guess I can start making that into two three. Yeah, but in two turns, basically, four mana, four mana, we can empty the graveyard. And this, these are zero ones that we can just shoot down. Yeah, that, as I was saying, Collected Company, I mean, imagine if we also had the Ladranis call here. <laughs> but that would have been pretty bad, right? So, that's what happens. Oh yeah, Scanning was good in the matchup, so... As always, we let them do the first move, so if they cast Lorus, we exile them and heal spell bomb. If they attack, attack with flying boots. Um, I don't really care. I can take three. I gained four when they came in. This card is so green, green, white. Another lingering salts. Sure. Now with the response on the no, turn not allowed to use. Turn it off. Oh yes. So we're gonna exile it when it's still in the when with the trigger on the stack from the audit champion. Uh, that's some maybe a reason to not do what we just did. It's not instant, so you cannot do it. Not instant, it's a sorcery. Flashback doesn't change the speed of the card. Yes. 18 minutes to 15 hours. So we're still ahead on clock, so that's not a problem. Zero cards in hand, they can play Lurus if they want to. But yeah, I'm gonna start exiling every graveyard that I can. <laughs> Lingering Souls, what a card, what a card. So that's my end phase. I'm gonna exile the Dyad. I'm gonna exile the Nihil Spell Bomb. Make this guy smaller. I'm gonna exile the guy's Isle. More lands. <laughs> so we have now five mana available. Um, they can make this a creature in the two three, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna die with kitchen things once again. I can just do on this. Yeah, in paper these things don't happen, right? In paper you never miss. Oh, I couldn't exile the lingering souls because I had a uh, yield that. That's not what, how it works. So five four. Look for land. Well, activated. I don't know maybe. White. Okay. They still have lures and they haven't played it. I guess they have zero value out of it. Zero value. Hmm. Does have one sorcery and there's one sorcery when it's on land, so yeah, I guess activate the land. That's sure. What's the plan upon him? Gowney Township would have been awesome this game. Block you. 
Wollen wir? Wollen wir? Wollen wir? Okay, it's massive. It's a massive block. So, okay, I need to think about this. So I want to kill Dharma Voice. Can I kill both Dharma? So if I exile here and here, So if I exile here and here, then this becomes zero to like one twos, maybe two threes. Ah, I think that's a way. So I'll exile your master and pool, so you don't mind me. And I'll exile my own. Like the company. I'm guessing I don't know if actually so yeah, two two will this kill it? <laughs> That's the question. This this will kill this time right? but then this will go into the graveyard. And actually I need to sign three to this. Funnily enough. I need to sign three to this. Because I think the first one, the first time I will die. So that's how it works. The first time I go, if dies, and because it's a state based effect, I'm taking chances, guys. So, because of state based effect, they would become a 2 3. I'm sure. They're not doing the damage at the same time. Um, exile two cards, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we have a lot of haymakers. Basically, the. Uh, basically, Heliod, Collected Company, all that good stuff. Thoughts is. Sure, man. Take two damage. I guess they gain two life, that's what they wanted. But I got rid of both. Uh, both Tarmogoyfs. And now I can actually exile one of these cards, so. They take the Walking Ballista. Green, white. So we can exile three, this will be a six six, it's pretty good. As it cast lures, okay, and response. I'm gonna exile your time of life. And I'm gonna exile your other time of life. Something else you can bring back, right? Or well, they can bring back home. So we can alive, it was nice. Maybe attack. Don't. Just gonna I think I'm just gonna look for a forest honestly. I don't I don't have enough for it. So I'm just gonna look for a forest. Exile my walk in the list um, just to use my mana, you know. 6-6. Six, six. Come on, Heliot. We've been waiting for you. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't happen. Uh, we can pump here. Shoot. Can also attack with this. Scavenging us. Have to massively block. It will be a 8-8 eight, eight when it attacks. You cannot really turn this on, so no attacking. Exalted, what a, what a card. What, a, what effect is exalted then? So, I guess I can block with one guy. Um, mm -hmm. I guess we hold on the mana. And they show us, so we know we don't have to be afraid of anything. Probably gonna bomb the ballista, shoot down the Lurus, shoot down. Be nice to draw hard scales, also. That would be also a good draw. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't. I don't know where to put the stuff for it again. I have to shoot it now. I can shoot it later. And now they already have Tommy Jesus, man. I promise you, we have the we have um, the hand skills over here. Hmm. Thank you, Badaki. They're really running low on land. So they can activate maybe both, you know? Activate the other one. Don't know. Yeah, it's just massively block. Block. To life. Are you champion? And gain more life. I can bomb the ballista still, that's why I played it. Uh, and play. We can always kill the lures in response or whatever they do, so I'm not too afraid. We don't have, we only have basics, man. It's kind of crazy. Long game, man. Long game one. Jeez. I think. I mean, we have driver's seat. I don't know if we can really lose this game. Maybe have some kind of haymaker, but looks. It's quite rough for our opponent. We're gonna pump the ballista. Got the push. We can pump the Ballista, kill the Lurus, kill two of these. Yeah, back in even. That's sweet. We can touch it, touch it, kill them. Oh, I still have this, of course. Yeah. Yeah, they'll bake it. Come on, man. Kill it. We've been waiting for you. Also, hiding skills. Come on. And a Fenza, even. Um, Um, put the counter. Heal wilt. Come on, mate. Come on, don't you? Scout is not bad. Yeah, it's actually pretty good, so. Oh, yeah, the white. There you go. So, we're making big dudes now. This becomes is a creature, white and black. So five. Actually, this is infinity now. Nice. So we can shoot this down. Then they attack. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack. This is getting a bit long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna attack with these guys. I think. I'm actually gonna attack with these guys. I'm just gonna put as much pressure as possible. Activate the land. Sure. Um, they cannot block in either of these two. That's what they do. I'm gonna shoot the Helio down, I mean the Lurus down, before he gets to do anything. Yeah, you're not long for this world. Gavin Township, man. What a card. So we we'll lose our pre shoes. Yeah, but. It's very close. I think they don't die, but they actually die to the. To the Ballista! Oh my god, we won eventually, Jesus. That was a long grindy game. Okay. Okay, we have two minutes ahead on the clock. Bell of Summer is good. Slurred is good. Do, they, do you think they play Grafticus Cage? You never know. So the Lantern sounds good. I like Tally on the play, less so on the draw. Yeah, Fin is the kind of card that doesn't shine in these matchups, I guess. 
have to cut two cards. I can cut the Dryad Arbor. I actually can cut two of the. They don't have. Uh, on the draw. Like okay, we can cut the Birds of Paradise, I guess. Talia can still be good. First striker. Maybe you can take them by surprise. Maybe Path could be good. But I don't want to give them mana. So I'm going to avoid this. This game would be mad if we had drawn Hammer Skills or Helio at some point during the whole game. You know? <laughs> but yeah, we don't draw that many cards. It's more like we. we yeah, so the rule is basically on the cyber for this kind of matches where it goes long and maybe it doesn't synergize so well with other things we do, but. Eh, sounds so close. We don't do draw. We have two Heliots, it's probably our best card. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep it, man. I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna try to. Maybe we can, I'm gonna keep. We're gonna hopefully withdraw land, and then we can. You know, turn two. We could play turn two Heliot. I mean, that's a. I don't think they have a way to deal with it. I don't think they play anything that can actually. Can actually deal with the Heliot. So I'm mulliganing. Also, we have hand skills as a backup pawn. So. That's also rather good. I mean, of course, that means that if even if uh, Novel dies or gets discarded by their discard spell, which they may be playing, yeah, Thoughtsis. Yeah, but you don't want to really mulligan against the Thoughtsis deck, as I always say. I mean, now it's like, okay, we have, imagine we mulligan a hand and we can have, get a similar hand with one Heliot. What are you going to take? The Heliot, right? So, of course, they can still do two discard. Do discard spells and deal with the healer, but then they don't deal with the novel. Or maybe they do, but then still we have lures that we can bring back. Novel here are current scales, all that stuff, right? So I like this kind of hands against these decks. Sometimes they are auto lose because you don't get to to draw your stuff. You don't get to draw any lands, but sometimes they are kind of nice. Okay, opponent, you took Talia. Wow, interesting. See, the Talia actually made them made them This art is. I have the other art in paper and I regret it so much. This art is just beautiful. Man. She's beautiful. What can you say? She's a beautiful person. Prevents opponents from casting. Suppose we don't want them to cast. All that good stuff. So. I like the company. Of course, a good card in the matchup, but it needs. It needs so, yeah, I'm gonna say yes, mate. Um, I could play the hand skills, but I would rather just play this and hope to draw my hand. If we, we don't, don't draw all lands, we, we can, can still play hand skills, I guess. I mean, if they do something like kill the novel, we can still play hand skills. I mean, the most scary, when I play in Jump or Amazon in this case, the most scary thing I can do, in my opinion, is when they go turn one discard, turn two, threat, turn three, removal. Because that they are really killing the fast in that session, right? If they go. double black. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, that's kind of bad, for that's for sure. <laughs> that comes in where you killed on last game, anyways. Uh, land, please? Yay. So, we're just gonna get the, the Hylia down. I mean, if we run another line, then we have to collect the combat and just rule off. Of course, they take some damage, we're gonna take two more damage from Dark Confident, they're gonna find an extra card. Maybe Mulligan, so they're already down a card. Haven't seen Mishish Battle from them, really interesting. Mm, sure, I mean, I have nothing to do, so we go. We're gonna cut them, it's kind of the best card I guess to reveal. It's a play right now. Better than Better than Catcom. Catcom, that's all we're gonna Reminds me of the Witcher. The both video, video game and they only have seven minutes left. Really slow players. Uh, lose the case? No, that's impulse. On the knob. Okay. That's three mana for one. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That's what I need. Mean. Okay, that's another tempo. Can play Lurus and kind of force them to have uh, a removal spell. 
They draw two cards next turn. That's uh, not so good then. You can also play hand skills, play tempo, got untapped. And just take it easy. I think I like that more than playing Lurus because. Yeah, playing Lurus means that we are in deep trouble if they deal with it because we go down to 10 and then. Yeah, but most likely we'll keep. I like getting the hand skills down and playing this tab. And maybe we draw a, a land, another land, and we can get the Collected Company, right? And if we don't, we have the Lurus, which, yeah, no idea. But we could actually have like a Ballista for it. Okay, that's another Dark Confident. They take two damage. Five cards in hand, 14 life to 14 life. Temple Garden, maybe a Shock you. Black, green. Scavenging Ooze. Oh, that's good against Lurus. <laughs> So you keep two green up, that's good for them, I guess. Okay, so we have the collected company, that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna pass. If they attack, we're gonna collect the company, I think. Idiot. Also, then there's no creature, so yeah. Yeah, and the reason we will. Okay, Blue and Mars, that's under stat. So we have Blue and Mars, Dark Confident, and 3 unknown. Land, so 2 unknown. Wait, we don't. I mean, I guess they need mana. To remember that they actually can bring back the non creature spells with Command Mind Cause for a Greater can't be cast. Okay, then <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna do it right now before you can we can do anything about it. So non creature spells with Command Mind Cause 4 or Greater cannot be cast. Non creature spells with X, I mean. I guess it's good, but it's kind of. Walking by list, oh, that's kind of the man. This is rather unlikely, I think, but you know, no. So, maybe scavenging moves. This scavenging moves is gonna, it's gonna die. <laughs> it's gonna die almost for sure. And I'm not gonna put the walking by list, I think. So, this will be a zero zero. So, no, done. Damn it. The uh, yeah, Fire Confident Blue March, and I don't know which could be a removal spell. Black, Black, Fire Confident. Okay, so. No creatures to exile, sadly. Hmm. I wanna give them more creatures to exile. Oh, that was a really terrible. <laughs> that was a really terrible uh, collected company. Sweet, so now um, I will play Spike Feeder. Blue well, Mars and none, so. Okay, so what we can do is we can gain two life again. Yeah, we can actually just gain infinite life if we want to. 
if Dagger's going to yield. That's a good thing about Hanen's skills as well, so yeah, we're gonna move. We can do at least for a bit, gain enough life to not die. Wait for like one minute. Sorry guys, may I'll try to do this if I remember. But yeah, without Hanen's skills, we cannot do this, but with Hanen's skills we can, and that's kinda nice. So I'm even gonna let the land resolve. Sounds okay. Just have the green for. I'm 25 life. I'm gonna go up to four minutes. I will go up to 100 or maybe 50. So now there's basically yeah I'm. I'm gonna gain until yeah, I'm gonna gain As I said right now we have an infinity life future here. They're actually wasting time also they're not F16, it's kinda of funny. Okay, not from now. I will Turn about the yields. Move a counter. I will save targets to the scavenging moves. Always yield. And then I'm gonna eat the rest of my life. Make a scavenging moves monstrous. And just get myself a, a land, I think. That's the way. Now, without hardened skills, you're gonna do this. So that's really even the power of hardened skills. So. That's the nice thing about this deck that the traditional hardened skills doesn't have is that you you basically uh, you basically can respond can basically have a I win combo, which sometimes it's you know wins the game on the spot. Are they actually they're still losing time with it? They're wasting as much time as I am. That's a sixteen sixteen scavenging moves. Then they need to block. Then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let it go. The spike feeder. And then I'm gonna eat whatever they play. So I keep gaining life. Keep making this uh, scavenging moves, homongous. So like they need to block every time from now on. This guy stops the uh, walking ballista, so we would rather like it uh, to find the to find the uh, spike feeder instead. I am gonna so I'm gonna let the the path resolve. I think one line we can use better than an extra counter. So yeah, the 34, 34. I'm gonna take one more. Yeah, let it resolve. Yes, find myself. Don't really matter. I'll find a plane to just for variety's sake. And I'll attack with a 38 38. That also can will win a life when they block. Yeah. So this dark confident dies. And I will eat it. Of course, if this was like a a real game, let's say, hmm, I would have right now a million life and a million million scavenging moves. So yeah, that's that's good because I can take care of the Lurus, but I got the land. That's position. So did they, did they play this blowing march ever? Because this was the first card they played, so they have still a plumbing march. Okay, they have one life. Basically, from this point on, they need to block. <laughs> they have a blooming march in hand, which is funny. I don't know, okay, that's Lurus. Okay, what they can get? Nothing. Okay, 
But again, I will attack this turn, they need to block, and yeah, this game is over. I don't gotta deal with Sentia. Also, they have one minute and a half left, so. So I'll attack first with the. See if they block with the Gallop Tick. And then play the Ballista for one, give it like, yeah, let's go. Okay, so that's the game. So they block with this. It dies, so I play Ballista for x equals one. We draw also. I mean, we went through a lot of our deck. Then, unsafe targets. Yeah, we could have done, and then we can gain life by eating this, for example. And then this triggers. No. Okay, turn off auto yields. Um, it's okay because we we have the yeah. we have two counters thanks to Adam's skills. So I was yield and yeah, this is it. This is the combo. I mean, these grindy decks have a hard time dealing with this kind of deck that kind of goes over the top of you, and they also grind. We have quite a grindy plan also. Like we saw game one, we we really grind, out grind them with with our choice of cards. So now at this point. I mean, I think I have enough time to shoot them. Maybe could even hope your team didn't do this, but that yeah, doesn't matter. Mm. I wonder why they do this. Like, why don't they? Maybe they need to win to heal because they really took a long time. I mean, I took a long time. They no I normally take quite a long time. I'm also trying to explain my thought process. But this is nice, this has been a nice, okay, we win the match, GG. We draw a Veil of Summer. But yeah, even if we don't draw a Ballista, let's say we draw anything, a Veil of Summer and yeah, another Heliot. You know, we attack, they block, we eat, we gain life, yeah. Next turn. Well, they have disconnected, I don't care. Um, you know what I mean? Like, they have one minute left, we just attack them every Okay, let's say they find a removal spell. Oh, now we can punch it. This guy has been impressive. So we're 2 and 0, the dream! Well, I mean, I'm delighted on winning three games. I'm not gonna say this is the dream because we've been in quite a losing streak, but at least we have two games now. It cannot, we cannot not, uh, lose everything. So I will, I'll leave the video here for now. I'll probably go have some dinner or something. Um, I'll try to upload it as soon as possible because I think this deck is exciting and this deck could, you know, could answer the question, what are we gonna do? If, uh, what's that called? If Lurus gets mad. Oh, you can do this and even use your Lurus even in case you have bought it. Like I have. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like the content. It really makes, most motivates me to keep putting the content. I know I don't seem to need motivation because I post a video every day, but thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I, I've been looking, I'm like, wow, that's, I mean, that's a lot of people that are like wanting to hear me play right so I'm, I'm happy for that I'm, I'm thankful for that and yes and i'll see you guys and girls and squares and aliens next time now i got it. i should i should like do be a bit more sneaky in these outros <laughs>